in addition to getting your head in alignment, keeping your body straight, the other way we reduce drag and backstroke is by having the right amount of elbow bend. And in backstroke, you see a lot of backstrokers that pull with almost a straight arm. Pulling with almost a straight arm in backstroke is the equivalent of pulling deep in freestyle. This part of your arm is going to create a lot of drag. So how do we mitigate or reduce the drag? We bend the elbow and we pull through with the hand closer to the body. Okay. So the best drill to teach you to keep the elbow bent is a one arm drill where we're going to put one hand at your side. You're going to let one arm at a time go in, get over on your side, bend the elbow to about 120 degrees and push through. Back to your back, get over on your side, keeping the hand under water but bending that elbow. Again, keeping it close to your body reduces drag and in this case it actually increases power. It doesn't reduce power like it does in freestyle. Okay, so one arm drill will go left arm out and we'll go right arm back, okay? There is no better way to understand what the hand and arm are doing during the pulling motion than by using a one arm only drill. By isolating the movement of a single arm pull, world champion backstroker Junya Koga can really concentrate on every aspect of the underwater pull, from hand entry to arm release and recovery. Having the non-pulling arm at his side rather than above, Junior can comfortably rotate his body onto his side during the drill. The shoulder of the non-pulling arm rotates vertically and comes way out of the water during the propulsive phase of the pulling arm. Rotating the body and getting onto the side not only puts Junior's arm and hand in a much stronger position for the pull, it also allows him to bend his elbow more without breaking the surface of the water, which would cause a loss of propulsion. The right amount of elbow bend seems to be around 120 to 140 degrees during the strongest part of the pull. The hand enters the water directly above the shoulder, not the head, with the little finger down. Once in the water, the hand does not push downward but directly backward while the elbow bends. The fingers are separated slightly to maximize the effective hand surface area. Once it passes the shoulder, the hand upsweeps slightly but it should never break the surface. The one-arm backstroke drill is a great way to reduce frontal drag and gain propulsive power, leading to a faster backstroke swim.